Hi, I'm Mason Dukacek, and welcome to our show, Build a Tribe Live, where I have the privilege of interviewing established experts, um, recognized authorities, and up-and-comers willing to share their unique and interesting perspectives on business. Um, my goal is to help share ideas that can help you and other viewers attract, capture, and convert more of your ideal prospects into customers online. And today's guest is Tom Ruich, who is a Yale graduate and president of the St. Louis-based email marketing company, MarketVolt. I invited Tom, Tom to come in today to share his ideas about how to basically re-engage inactive past clients, to reach out to potential clients, and turn those potential clients into customers quickly, easily, and inexpensively utilizing email marketing. So Tom, basically um, what I'd like to do is, I've got a very simple format, it's about 10 questions, and maybe a few follow-ups related. But if you wouldn't mind, you know, tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into this line of work and what it is that, that drives you to be passionate about the whole niche of email marketing. Sure. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. My pleasure. Uh, my background was as a journalist. I worked for about 10 years in the newspaper industry. And in the late 90s, as the internet was beginning to take hold, I got into the online newspaper business. And uh, that business, of course, uses the passive advertising model. Uh, capture an audience, uh, plop ads on the pages of the newspaper, hope that enough people respond to the ads that the advertisers find return on that investment. Uh, but what began to fascinate me as the internet took hold is the opportunity for interactive, interactive advertising where buyers and sellers could connect in a much more, uh, much more of a dialogue and uh, media like email was at the forefront of that movement. So around uh, the year 2000, I hatched the idea for MarketVolt. Uh, we didn't invent email marketing, of course, um, but uh, we were pretty early into the game and uh, we jumped in and what, what really began to interest us most was this idea that it wasn't just about putting out a message and hoping it sticks, it was about having conversations with your prospective uh, customers, your clients, learning from them based on how they interacted with your email, opening, clicking, and so forth, using that knowledge to instruct your product development, but also to understand who your true prospects are, what your different people's interests are. And we've been doing it now for 12, 13 years and built a successful business and helped a lot of businesses grow as a result. Well, I appreciate you setting aside a tiny visit with me. I'm sure our, our viewers will be um, uh, able to benefit from some of your experience. Like I said, I've got about 10 basic questions. Mm -hmm. um, I might as well get started. Um, Let's do it. Um, your business is known as an email service provider or an ESP. What is an ESP and why should businesses use one for email marketing? Well, an email service provider is, is uh, what the name implies. It provides the service, really the software, that allows a company to create, deliver, and track emails to large audiences. Different than, say, Gmail or Outlook that allows you to type an email, send it to a selected contact. Right. This is about sending to a large audience. And why do it with an ESP? Well, taking that third thing, tracking, you're not going to be able to do that easily or at all if you try to do it yourself through your own what email software. What kind of do you track? Obviously open rates, what else? Uh -huh. Open rates, uh, who forwarded the email. So imagine in a business to business environment how powerful it would be if you send an email into uh, John Doe at Acme Widgets and notice, because of tracking, that he's forwarded it to 10 colleagues within Acme Widgets. Who's the person you're gonna call tomorrow to try to set up a sales meeting? John Doe's into whatever it was you sent him. John Doe's identified himself as a prospect. So tracking who opens, who... Not based on what he says, but what he actually does. What he does, yeah. Uh, who, who forwards who clicks which links. So the real business of sales, to sell efficiently and to get to the sale most quickly, is to have conversations with the low resistant, true prospect, as opposed to the high, high resistant person who really doesn't know who you are or want to hear from you. Gotcha. Knowing who clicked the link about the new product or service that you're offering 
gives you an opportunity to say, okay, that person showed enough interest that I'm going to call or I'm going to send a follow-up email or I'm going to send a letter or I'm just going to show up and knock on his door. That person knows who I am, showed interest, separating prospects from You just happen to call them at the right time. Amazing, huh? How about that? <laughs>